This is the new iPhone 14 Pro and these are the best main accessories that you can pick up right now for your new iPhone. Let's start with the basics, the screen protector. Speaking of one of the best screen protectors, they're easy to install, last for a long time, and you get two in the box. I feel that the screen protector is a must have as soon as you open up the box. If you wanna rock the phone like this, that's cool, but it's a little bit dangerous in my opinion. So I get, of course, a case for it. I've tested a lot of silicon cases in the past few years, but I always keep going back to Apple's own silicon cases. They're so good, so durable. They're thin, they protect the camera, the bottom and they're very durable in case anything happens to the phone. Believe me, I've dropped my phone a lot of times with the 13 Pro and the 12 Pro and these bad boys kept it safe. Other great options that I've tested before are the D-Brand grippy cases. They're durable, they have MagSafe. One of the most important thing for me in a case is to have MagSafe and you can change the skin in the back to whatever you want. It's very versatile and customizable if you want other options than Apple. Next up, we have my most used accessory, which is the MagSafe leather wallet. It's been with me for more than a year and a half. It got beaten up very well. We can see the wear and tear across the whole wallet. And it's been my main wallet with three cards only for the past year and a half. I've seen people trash the heck out of the wallet a few months in, but it's been holding on with me very well. It has some patina and it got darker and darker, but overall, I love my MagSafe leather wallet. I really loved MagSafe on the 12 Pro and the 13 Pro, and now we have it on the 14 Pro. As you saw, I have a lot of MagSafe accessories, and the one that I use also a lot is the MagSafe charger. At night when I can't see, I just hear the click and I know that the phone is charging. And the last MagSafe accessory that I recommend is the battery pack from Apple. It's very convenient, it's very thin and light. The magnets are very, very strong. It doesn't go anywhere. It's very useful to keep in your bag in case of emergencies. It's very small, thin and light. Yes, it's not that big of a battery and it's a little bit expensive, but the thinness and lightness of the battery pack makes for it. I used it a lot in my travels because I go out shooting with the phone all day long, so I need the extra juice. Next up, we have the accessories that you need to get. Apple AirPods. Of course, you can get any type of Bluetooth headphones and it'll work with the phone normally, but the AirPods are just different. By the way, this is how it is, and this is with the MKBHD Icon skin. It gets scratches a lot, that's why I keep a skin on it. The reason I chose AirPods because they're the best in the market, and they're very compatible with the iPhone, the Apple Watch, the Mac. They also sound very good, especially with noise cancellation. Also a must have while traveling. If you don't want to spend your money on AirPods and you have your wired headphones, then this dongle is a must have. You can charge your phone while connecting your headphones. It's also very good on the road. If your car doesn't have Bluetooth, you can charge your phone and use AUX at the same time. It's very cheap and you still can keep your wired headphones. One of the main accessories that a lot of people don't talk about that is very good with the iPhone is the Apple Watch. You don't have to get the latest and greatest. This is the Apple Watch Series 6 and I'm not planning to upgrade it at all anytime soon because it has all the things that I need. It's been with me for a year and a half and it's been working with the iPhone very well. I love that I get all the notifications on my watch so I don't open up my phone every now and then. I love that I can find the phone via the watch and beep it from far away if I lose it. I love that it keeps up with my sleep and health. You don't have to get the latest one. The SE is more than enough but I think it's very useful to get with the iPhone. The last one in the list are air tags. I keep it with my keys all the time. It got beaten up very badly as you can see and yes I have a thing for red obviously. I also use it while traveling. I keep it in the bag just in case the bag gets missing. I can know where it is. It's very useful if you lose your keys all the time. I just have it in here and have some peace of mind. And that's been it for today's episode. I have a lot of videos about the iPhone 14 Pro coming very soon so subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you for watching and don't forget that life is all about love and dance. See ya.